And I'm here to uh, strongly endorse the nomination for the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit, uh, current uh, District Court Judge Ralph Erickson. Uh, but he is uh, somebody who's done just a fabulous job on the uh, federal bench uh, in Fargo uh, and is somebody that is not only uh, well respected for his uh, tremendous work, uh, first as a lawyer, now as a judge, but as a, somebody who is uh, just uh, highly regarded in the community and deeply respected because of his uh, personal integrity and the kind of person that he is. In 2003, Judge Erickson was nominated by President George W. Bush to the U.S. District Court for the District of North Dakota and was quickly confirmed by the Senate, wait for it, unanimously. I'm hoping that happens again. Uh, you know, I've known uh, Senator Hovind since 1975 when I used to sit on the bench and watch him play basketball against the team that I was on. But I would say that we have grown at least older in the service of our country together, and I have deep admiration and love for them and the service they give our country. As Americans, it's really important that we do, no, do not lose sight of who we are. We stand on the shoulders of giants. This is not the first time that the country has been divided. It is not the first time in my lifetime. A generation ago, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. told us that the arc of um, the, the, the moral arc of history is long, but it bends towards justice. The three branches of government are in some way represented here. We stand in balance and in some tension. Those of us who are judges stand on the shoulders of other giants. What they tell us is that as judges, we have no politics or creed. We have no constituency save the Constitution and the laws. That's what the, being a judge in my life is all about. 